Hello and welcome to another Overwatch video. Um, this video is pretty exciting, although I, you know, was completely caught off guard by this one. Blizzard decided to release the, I guess, Season 7 trailer, you can call it, uh, at the Xbox Games event. Uh, this is probably to try and counteract, you know, all the negative press that's been coming about around about, you know, PvE being scrapped. So they're showing basically the Season 7 update, even though we're only about to hit Season 6, like, in two days. But there's a lot of cool information about it you know, missing PvE content aside. On the PvP side of things, there's a lot of exciting things that are that are going on. So normally I would play the trailer once through and then, actually, you know what, we'll do it anyway. We'll play the trailer once through and then at the end, we'll go back and we will check out uh, everything we can see and sort of everything the trailer shows off. 37, Toronto is under attack. By Null Sector. There's something different about Null Sector this time. Taken over most of the city and they're rounding up Omnix. They need our help. People are answering Vincent's recall. There's new blood on the team. And we have so much to teach them. If we can stop Null Sector, maybe we can save the city. Coming through. It's been a while, Vivian. If I didn't have enough problems already. So we play up there, smash through anything that gets in our way, and put another business. I hate to interrupt the moment, but I'm picking up reports of more attacks in other cities. If it's a fight they want, I say let's give it to them. All right, there's the trailer there. Um, so we can start at the beginning again. So Blizzard Entertainment presents story missions, basically. Turn the volume down a bit more. All right, so it looks like we start off in Toronto. That's actually a really cool picture uh, of, I guess, futuristic Toronto. Although the water has definitely gone up a bit because the CN Tower is not directly on the water like it shows here. We have Sojourn fighting Null Sector in Toronto. So I think they're coming out with three missions in Season 7. Or maybe or maybe two. It, I, they're coming out with three or two. Uh, you can see the ones from the Toronto mission here. So uh, this is still in Toronto. Season 7 is uh, August 10th, showing the newest additions to Overwatch in terms of lore, not actual game. So this is from the East... Uh, sorry, the... Um, why can't I remember the name of the map? Anyway, Lucio's home map, because the name is blanking me right now, but that is the the first mission, um, and, I, and then we have, actually, yeah, there is three, so there's the one that, I guess, a modified one of the, the one that people played at BlizzCon back in 2019. I think this is a modified version, so it takes you through the streets of that, and then you go up into, like, a big ship, and you fight through the ship, and then at the 
at the end there's a boss battle so there's the toronto one there's this one and then in the future here's echo so this is the third one that's coming so it looks like we are gonna fight that big like uh giant robot which i'm actually pretty excited about depending on how the the boss battle is actually formatted but this one originally we saw it in paris but this looks like a this is definitely a different map so there's there is a third story mission coming but it's it's not like this robot is in somewhere else than what we saw in the trailer in the cinematic trailer because this is not on the paris map or it's not in paris like the other one was So that's the Toronto mission again. All right, so Flashpoint. So far, nothing has come out about Flashpoint, except for that it's a game mode. This map looks super cool. Just right off the bat, this map looks super sick. And yeah, Flashpoint, we really don't know much about it, and the trailer doesn't show really much. So you can't really figure out what's going on here. There's sort of just people using their abilities in... to like kill each other but it doesn't really show an objective all at all it almost just looks like really deathmatchy when i hear flashpoint though i almost thought of like hardpoint which is like it would be interesting to see how hardpoint works in overwatch but that that's the first thing that comes to my mind when i think of flashpoint is is like a hardpoint from any game that has hard point where you know you have like a big map and then you have a point that moves around for each map so they've obviously like for example the the part in the middle here that could be like one point and maybe they've just disabled it for the trailer but you know this would be active and that would go for like 60 seconds and then uh, after those 60 seconds the point would move and then you need to be the first to like 250 points or something like that or whoever has the most points when the uh, timer which is set to like eight or ten minutes uh, when that dwindles down whoever has the most points wins basically um, that's that's the first thing that I came to my mind when I you know that's what flashpoint sort of sounds like is hard point but I guess we will get more information as that information becomes available to us But it looks super deathmatchy. Hero Mastery. Okay, so this is like a single player. You have single player sort of missions that you can do to become more skillful at whatever character. So here they're just showing one for Sojourn. But it's I'm going to guess it's some sort of like time trial. Like in um, in the older Call of Duties. Uh, or they have it in um, Titanfall 2, where you have like that sort of arena that you're timed, and you also get points based on how many enemies you eliminate, how many objectives do you do, whatever. Um, and there might be some sort of, there could be some sort of like leaderboard for it to say, hey, this person is the best at this Sojourn Hero Mastery, or this person is the best at the Mercy Mastery, that sort of stuff. Uh, the next one it shows here is PVE event. Um, Tim's got some mini guns, so I guess there's there's going to be another archives event in the you know the anniversary rent uh, or the archive event comes around. There's going to be a new archive mission, which is going to be really cool to see. Uh, looks like Tracer's got some sort of I can't tell if it's a battery, but then the inside of it looks like some sort of computer. If you look in there, that looks like a, a processor cooler. And it looks like there's some... Or it also looks like the bomb that May made to defeat the, like, boss robot. And you got some, like, flying guys here that we haven't seen before. They might just be the, the standard drones that really do nothing. These... We've seen most of these. These are just generic null sector units, but this one here is uh, is is a new one. But I think it works the same way as those bomb ones on the the London map that sort of get closer to an objective, and then once they get close to you, they sort of just explode. Maybe just like a reskin for them. Tim with some guns. 
all of these look like generic null sector. Uh, we have another flashpoint map. This is different from, this would be the second one. Um, that junkyard thing being the first one. Again, it really, it really doesn't show how flashpoint works other than they seem to be converging at some sort of point and the map seems big enough that you could have multiple points around the map and you just there's no like spawn rooms you just spawn in the map or there's spawn rooms sort of dedicated to to each team depending on if you control the current point or not um but yeah and th this map as well is, is a really beautiful map there's actually i can't wait to do the um the showcases for these maps because these these are very beautiful maps anyway going back in they just show uh <clears throat> the firing range so they're doing a revamp of the firing range which is good because the current firing range that we have has been outdated for pretty much as soon as like uh i mean valorant is is pretty good um but uh yeah it's been outdated since pretty much it came out so it's good to see that they're trying different things. So this one is PVE. That's the one that you saw at uh, BlizzCon 2019. This is the Reinhardt uh, Hero Mastery. This is PVE scene we've already seen before. New Adventure Begins. I I don't know about this. Um, me as someone who loves Overwatch and was mostly in it for just PvP, I... I I mean, it's sad to see the PvE go, but like I'm going to play Overwatch 2 regardless. I just don't know about people who have left and people who aren't going to touch the game now that PvE isn't fully releasing. I'm not sure if this is really going to, or this uh, brand new adventure is actually going to, this branding here is actually going to get them to play. But I'm super excited for, for what's to come for PvP. Uh, and then at the end of this, we have a quick glimpse of the newest support hero. So it's really hard to see. Here you can see their face the best. It almost looks like, a, I almost wanted to say it's an Omnic, but I, I don't think so now. It's really, it's really hard to tell through this. Well, they almost have like a female-esque body shape. I want to say Asian somewhere. It it almost looks it almost looks like um I it's really hard to tell but it's all it's either Asian or Native North American but anyway they look to have some sort of big gun that's either they're holding it or it's just attached to their arm almost looks like it could be a melee weapon actually it it looks like a sword which is weird but yeah so this we already know it's a support character so there's no beating around the bush there. Um, but it looks like, yeah, they, they have either some pretty long hair or some cape. If this isn't their hair, then it looks like they have some pelt on, some sort of, uh, I don't know, bear pelt or something like that, some other animal. The, yeah, the gun, that sort of looks like a really big sword, and it, it almost looks to be a female character, but who knows these days. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to see, and it looks like they have something to do with that headband. The headband seems pretty important because the light comes from there and so maybe that that headband's super important anyway um that's it for that um this the trailer for season six premieres in or sorry are we in season four or season five season five okay <laughs> i don't know what i'm thinking anyway oh so all of that stuff is coming in season six don't don't mind me i'm just being stupid anyway yeah so season five uh this is the trailer for that premieres tomorrow or in 20 hours and then the season drops on Tuesday at the the usual time at the usual places that's it for this one and uh, I can't wait to get all the new content that's coming in in season six I'll see you in the next one